the overall efficiency using co-designer is so much higher, right? The amount of productivity to time ratio is much better. So Ribot is a really unique robot. That weapon on Ribot, it is fierce, it is fully functional, and it is doing some damage to Scorpios in the corner. We have personally firsthand seen off-the-shelf components fail, and we just want to avoid that. And giving ourselves the control over the design and having a great EE like Nick um, gives us the option to be able to go full custom and control the product that we want to produce. We have a failure on one side. Um, it doesn't take out the battery pack. I'm in the sport and I'm pursuing this, this path to learn. Yeah. There's no better way to learn than to design something from scratch. MOSFETs, yeah. microcontrollers, um, all of our complicated ICs. Obviously, the loading conditions are different than industry. In industry, systems need to operate in steady state for yeah. months, years, decades. Our robot needs to survive for three minutes. Other teams using off-the-shelf devices. Ultimately, their weapon systems aren't storing as much energy as ours is. Black Dragon inverted. Oh, what a shot by Ribot. Wow. The biggest reason I think to go full custom is it gives us control over all aspects of the design. When I designed the heatsink and the case design, we're pushing the components to their limits. We really have to optimize the heatsink so that we can pull all the heat out and we're not wasting area. Integrating with the entire robot. It's very, it's very tight. Being able to rapidly go in between ECAD and MCAD to change form factors is crucial for their very fast turnaround time. So before Ultium 365, we were reliant on passing files back and forth external to either of the tools. These mechanisms are very clunky, prone to errors, and ultimately they're, they're time consuming. He sends over DXF, the ECAD designer, imports the DXF, has to align origins. The ECAD designer then has to move 100 components manually. I worked with Nick a lot pre-co-designer. Every single time you import a uh, step file, the MCAD's entirety of their feature tree, if it's using any sort of reference geometry, is all broken every single time. While using co-designer, this is no longer a problem. And what's pretty cool is that I can actually constrain these parts using the geometry from the step file. And this is a, a pretty cool way that I can communicate to Nick where the capacitors need to go in a way that you know might be tough to convey otherwise. The MCAT co-designer tool was used to export a relatively simple board, but was critical in the, in the MCAT space for wire management and retention of cables. Co-designer allows us to pass board files back and forth very quickly and easily. It also allows us to resolve issues and conflicts in real time, especially if we're screen sharing and on a video call. Working natively in Altium, he's working natively in his SolidWorks. He can actually define placement of, of parts. I can send a part on a board. And that's, that's what I think is the biggest time sink. The overall efficiency using CoDesigner is so much higher, right? The amount of productivity to time ratio is much better. And that it helps with two things. One, getting things done, and also just keeping frustration low. It gives us flexibility that other teams don't have and allows us to engage in these complex design challenges that you would likely see in industry, but a lot of other BattleBots competitors don't necessarily get to experience. And we were up against the deadline to order parts. You know, ma manufacturers have lead times. We have lead times on the PCBs. If you miss that deadline window, you don't have a product. Altium helps us get to the design very quickly so that we can purchase the parts that we, we need and we're confident that later down the road when we go to manufacture, we have the parts in hand. I'd like to think that every iteration of Ribot that comes out is a show of what we are capable of doing as engineers. And as we grow professionally and personally, uh, it hopefully is reflected in our work on Ribot.